So, and the first uh, performer is uh, Michael Rothenberg. Uh, I'm delighted that he's here. Uh, he he uh, has done so much for for poetry. He's, uh, I would say, he lives poetry and sleeps poetry and eats poetry and breathes poetry. He's a a scholar and an editor. Uh, and, and and a wonderful poet in his own right, and he's he's kept the beat tradition alive and reinvented it and taken it in new directions. So would you please and 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 his book, his new book, uh, choose is on sale here. It's in the front. He'd be happy to autograph it for you if you'd like that. So would you please welcome Michael Rothenberg. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with tattooed lips, suicide prevention, dragons, crossbones, red stars, and sacred hearts. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with pool halls, Irish whiskey, Coca-Cola, the house rules, local boys grumble, lose quarters in the jukebox, Spoons of cappuccino froth at closing time in the Blue Danube Cafe. The Danube, the nearest body of water when Narcissus and Echo go to town. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with abstraction, connecting lines in a story written as it was meant to be written. It isn't chance, it isn't. It's sky, dance. Eye staring into eternity. It has to do with mouths, fingertips, radio loud, up singing, romantic truth. It has everything to do with youth, trees, the ones we're imagining, not those old oaks we saw claw spasmodically in noon heat branches drenched in green lichen, then stumps grown with moss, horses and corrals. It's got to do with morale. Everything to do with something holy. Calistoga, 1992, blue sky day, mineral springs bubbled in the motel, swimming pool, discovery of neck, hands, hair, and foot. Madame Dora, tarot reader, palmist, out to lunch. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with us. We're only dust. It has to do with stopping the sun, half naked on a beach before the prom, photographs of who we once were. What do you think of me now? It has nothing to do with us. It has to do with remembering to forget our desires because they're too painful. And because they're too beautiful, we're afraid to run far. We turn tiny circles around suburban yards. We forget. It has everything to do with things we try to forget. The faint groan, the whispered cry of much, too much. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with stepping away from burning lips, burning the fringe of everything around us. It has nothing to do with saying yes, or the smell of us, or kissing the neck of a disembodied lover. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with impulse, how it burrows through melting snowfields of our last night. Flushed, you wave good night. Lower the drawbridge to your cliffside house. It has everything to do with a mouse inside our throats, quivering a whisker to find a clear note coming back to ourselves while the mechanism of the cosmos fails. Evolution skips a beat, we retreat. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with lust coursing through our bodies, shot full. Thy kingdom come, this falling down, rapture on the come, chrysanthemum, narcissus, and clay pot beside a rose bush. It has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with all we've seen, heard, and felt. It has nothing to do with us. Dogs yelp in the woods, hungry on a hunt. 
the huntress mired in quicksand, the arrow never lands. Echo turns to Narcissus, is this who I am? She wants to know before the bog suffocates her. The boy offers his hand. Echo asks, does this love death have anything to do with us? She takes his hand rather than wait for an answer. Narcissus, never very good with words, grips Echo and murmurs, it has nothing to do with this. He lifts her from the bog. It has everything to do with moments unresolved, everything to do with us. It must. It has everything to do with this. They kiss. My history of boxing for Chris Dundee. My father was a lawyer, a two-fisted drinker, claimed his only client was Chris Dundee, owner of the Fifth Street Gym. Boxing phantoms, blue heron and martinis in the concrete and steel wounded glitter of Miami sun. A dragonfly dries its wings and eyes flies away. Tales of the Fifth Street Gym. My boxing lesson from Chris among the stink and slap of jump ropes and sweat against the gym floor. My father loved Chris. Chris worked all the phones at once. London, Canada, Asia, booking, brokering from a switchboard in the living room. Chris loved boxing more than anyone. He took my brother and me into Ali's hotel suite in Las Vegas after he lost the title to Spinks. Ali sat on recliner, his head down. Don't worry, mama, I heard him say. The room was dim, people whispered, friends and family milled around. We stood shy of our hero as Chris handed Ali the loaf of sourdough bread my brother and I brought him from San Francisco. I remember right before the fight that night in the hotel room, Chris said, I really wish Ali wasn't fighting anymore. At the fights, Chris used to grab me by the neck and steer me away from my parents around the crowd to meet celebrities while he took care of business. This is my nephew, he would say, as the press photographers took pictures of me on some movie star's lap. I think of Chris and my dad taking steam baths at the Fountain Blue Hotel Spa. Chris took care of indigents until death buried anyone, everyone out of his own pocket. How is Chris Dundee different than Don King? Don King is a murderer, Chris said. Chris helped me with my science fair project on the effects of boxing on the brain. Chris cried as he told me about Laverne Roach, the boxer he booked that night in the ring back in New York. I call Chris the grandfather of modern boxing. Chris helped young boxers, got them jobs, got them bail. This was not characteristic of the profession. So you are basically a hero. A what? You're not a hero, you're a human being. A hero? A hero is a fellow who goes out and saves lives. Wednesday nights, my father and Chris drank scotch, played pinochle, and smoked Cuban cigars on the floor of the room. When my father died, Chris walked around our house crying, I've lost my best friend. Chris was courageous and had a heart of gold. One day I stood in awe as a 200-pound heavyweight boxer screamed in Chris's face and the little old Italian guy didn't even flinch. Can I elevate the boxing promoter to the mythic, epic, heroic, a hero? Ali has always done the impossible. He's always done everything wrong that turned out right. Muhammad Ali drums a punching bag 
under an eternal starry night. I like it. It's my livelihood. It gives me a lot. A dragonfly dries its wings and eyes flies away when the last bell rings. <laughs>